What's up guys, Zergers here, and I'm playing a little game here on Radiation Kill Confirmed, and I'm using the Ballista with, uh, I think it's like the Day of the Dead uh, camo, and the Horde uh, reticle for my ACOG. And I'm just kind of briefly going to go over, like, kind of my thoughts on the new reticles and the new camo and all that good stuff. I actually kind of like this. I thought it was, it was really interesting what they did. Uh, I know DLC content was just limited just to maps, you know, like last year or year before. And uh, it's always been talked about, but now they're actually incorporating it into the game. I think it's amazing. I love, I love the fact that you can play a game and look forward to new stuff other than just maps. You know, new weapons, new camos. It just it adds a lot more mixture to the game, keeps it more interesting, and I just like it a lot. So, real quick, the ACOG sites. So we got uh, Canopy, which is just kind of like an uh, orange delta with kind of a, a T off the bottom of it. Uh, I like that one. Seemed to get a lot of headshots with that uh, ice. I thought it was horrible. It was just too big. The floor. Um, it was just. It's. I don't know how to say this, man. It's, it just looks gay. <laughs> so I haven't used that one. Uh, Elevate looks really cool, but I haven't had a chance to use it. Uh, Happy Bullet is kind of big, but uh, I did okay with it. Spin I haven't tried. Horde is absolutely my favorite. Not just so much for the blood splatter effect, which I think is really neat, but the zombies at the bottom of the ACOG is just awesome. So. Uh, whoever hits a quad headshot feed with this first, somebody link me that because I want to see the first quad headshot feed with the the horde reticle, either on a DSR or a ballista. I think it'd just be awesome. Uh, the snake bite I think is a really really cool reticle for the ACOG, except for the fact that I think it's really confusing when you're trying to quick scope with you know the DSR, the ballista, whatever. It seems like I'm always thrown off by all the little dashes or, um, you know, the, the fangs, I guess you could say. They're so close to that middle line that it just throws me off. And then the snack attack, which is the, the bacon with a toothpick in it. <laughs> Wherever they get this, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's it's funny, but uh, I've tried to use it, and it's it's very difficult to use. I'm just saying, it's, it's tough to use. Um, so we got... Uh, new weapon camos. We got Jungle Warfare, which I don't know, it's kind of blase. Benjamin's is uh, pretty cool. Uh, Dia de Muertos um, is, like I said, the camo that I'm using here. And I thought it, it, it was kind of neat. I was looking for something maybe like a little more morbid and, you know, a little less cheesy, but it was still pretty cool. Graffiti I just like because it's really uh, bright, vibrant, and just pops out. Like if you see somebody run around the map with that, then you know what camo they have on. Uh, Kawhi, I don't know, but <laughs> why do they put that in there? Uh, Party Rock, uh, that one's pretty neat. Uh, zombies, uh, it, I don't know, it looks too much like a, a fucked up family portrait, but uh, I don't know, it's it's okay. Viper's pretty neat, and again with uh, the whole bacon thing, because I guess people go ham, but... It <laughs> I don't know where they came up with these. It, it's funny, um, but yeah, in in total, man, I'm enjoying uh, all the the new optics and then the the new weapon camos. So uh, so far, I've, you know, obviously this only came out like yesterday, the day before. So uh, I'm still slowly like trying new camos with you know new things and trying them out. And uh, so far, I've done pretty good. I've already got a couple clips with some of the new stuff. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, do you guys think that? Uh, this adds a lot of diversity and, you know, kind of keeps it fresh, or do you think it's just a complete waste of time and you just want to see guns at it? I don't know. Leave some comments and some feedback. Uh, the other last thing I want to touch on uh, real quick in this commentary is that uh, I'm actually going to be going to MLG Dallas. Uh, I fly out tomorrow or the 15th. I'm not really sure when I'm going to upload this, but I leave on the 15th. Uh, I'll land in Dallas uh, about 4.30, I think, roundabout. And I'll be attending MLG Dallas, so, I mean, if you're around the area, if you're going to be there, um, you know, hit me up, might uh, go have some drinks or go have something to eat or, you know, maybe I can sign something or take a picture. I'm, I'm down for about anything, man. I, I've been to an MLG event before. It was, a lot of, it was a lot of fun, man. I had a good time. So uh, I will be gone all weekend, so uh, as far as uh, map tutorial and uh, challenges for this weekend. There probably won't be any because I'm going to be in Dallas. So, yeah, uh, I, there's a lot of people that I haven't met, a lot of different commentators and stuff, um, a lot of different players that, uh, even from my team, we got like five guys from uh, NV Sniping that are going to be going. So I'm looking forward to meeting all these new people. Uh, there's a lot of people I haven't met yet, so it's going to be a good time, man. I come back on 
uh, late in the evening on the 18th and uh, probably try and get some games in before I go to bed. So anyway, I just want to throw this quick commentary out there, talk to you guys about the new camos and new reticles and uh, me going to MLG Dallas. So uh, I kind of went ham with the War Machine this game. <laughs> it was fucking fun, dude. I love that War Machine. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and I will see you guys when I get back. I'll take some footage while I'm there. That's it. I'm out. Deuces. Dude, I almost want to tweet that. Like, the fuck? Look at this rape. They all left.